Hello, welcome. Uh, in our last lecture, we have seen how to write an assembly level language program uh, for addition of two 8-bit numbers. Alright, so we in last lecture we have seen uh, how to write that program and we have uh, um, write it down the program and just uh, saved it on the desktop. Our desktop in uh, we write it in Notepad. Now in this lecture. Uh, we will see that how to run that program in the Masim Tesim software. Okay, so for that purpose, we have to install uh, Masim software. So it is already installed in this system, uh, right? And uh, for interaction with the assembler, that is the Microsoft assembler, we have Masim software uh, and a GUI of a DOS box. We have uh, right. Uh, it is a DOS prompt. We have DOS box. Uh, for interaction with the assembler. So let's see here. It is our program right That is we have said it by using the extension dot ASM the name of our program is addition dot ASM and now it is our program so for Executing this program in Masm, we have to copy this and paste it in the C drive where it is installed our software right so we have installed 8086 uh, uh, assembler masm tasm for in the uh, C drive that is a 8086 folder so just in that 8086 we have to paste our program it is addition asm okay this is our file so now again we will minimize it uh, here you can see the various tools okay so this is a masm masm application file it is the actual assembler which assembles our program and converts it in the machine language right from assembly level language to machine language then these are the various tools actually this is the edit means this is the editor this is the linker so these are various types of tools present we minimize it and now we will re, uh, run our program so just open the dos box by using this command prompt we can uh, interact with our microsoft assembler software so first of all uh, we have to mount the c directory as our local directory as we are working on there so there is a command uh, it's better you get it noted down the C mount space C then again C colon and backslash this is the command for uh, assigning the C directory as our local directory so just press enter for running that command and after execution of this uh, mount command uh, you see the message drive C is mounted as a local directory C okay so our C directory is mounted as local directory now we can go there so just type C and colon to go to the C drive and press enter now we are in the uh, C drive so our folder is 8086 right you have seen there so for going there uh, we have to change our directory so we have uh, ms dos commands uh, change directory for cd so by using that cd command 8086 right it's the syntax is a simple cd and space and the folder name which is 8086 and press enter so now we are in the 8086 folder so for running our program we have uh, three commands move down first one is the masm that is for assembling our project uh, sorry our program the second one is link link that is the for linking our program that we have seen the linker software and third one is finally the simple executable file will generate we have run that file name dot axe so we will see that one by one first one is masm then space what our program name is we have saved it by using addition that is our file name dot asm then simply press enter then you will see there there is a message object file name addition dot obj so 
by which uh, after execution of the masm command it will generate three types of files first one is object that is mentioned here addition dot obj again press enter it will show you the list file source listing okay so uh, and again press enter it will show you third file that is the cross reference file the three file extensions are dot obj dot lst and dot crf okay so uh, what is this file actually the object file name contains all the code you are in a machine level okay then what is the listing source listing means the various types of sources you have used in your program that are listed there okay and cross reference file is just for uh, checking uh, that is the cross referencing okay then again press enter then it will show you zero warning errors and zero severe errors so if there are syntactical or something errors are in our program so it will show us then we have to write it uh, we have to uh, get it uh, correct and then again we have to execute our program so first part is done then second command is what our link link so we have to link the first file that is the uh, obj file here addition.obj so link addition dot obj and again press enter so it will again create three types of files we have to press enter three times so first one is run file addition dot exe you can see here okay so what is that it is the executable file by executing this file we can get our output final output then this is the list file okay so dot map it is there and libraries dot lib libraries contain the inbuilt functions for execution of our program okay so now the warning we can uh, avoid that or we can neglect that if it is error we have to see severely so our second step is done with the linking our program so the, we are at the final stage of our uh, executing our program that is the execute our executable file or run our executable file so the final stage is what just we have to uh, run our executable file so it's a uh, syntax is just file name and addition dot exe which is our executable file and press enter so now you are seeing here the it will show our output uh, 5 so just we have to add these two numbers first number is 1 and our second number is 4 you can see here so first of all uh, we will minimize it and here our program so just open that here you can see the first number is 1 and second number is 4 so our addition is 5 that is printed in uh, here in the DOS box prompt right in this way our we have uh, right uh, written our program and we have executed it successfully so this is the way of running the command or running the assembly level language program in mass testing. So thank you.